Okay, YouTube, I installed a uh, pop and lock, uh, electronic tailgate lock, so you don't need your key anymore, on my 2014 Toyota Tundra. I had a couple of issues with it. Uh, I thought I'd share that with you so uh, people with the 2014 model can avoid uh, the questions that I had. So uh, the first one was, uh, you know, I, I ran the wires. There's slightly different punch outs. So out the tailgate here, leave the clip, sort of zap strap one end of the clip here, the other end to the uh, uh, rear, rear camera cable. And then I, I went into the truck out of this little, like, sort of small half inch square hole and then ran down the frame rail and up through the firewall that all worked good this is the firewall nipple right here that i cut the end off of and then just slid it all in that all worked out really smooth and nice hard part was crawling around on my back underneath tucking it in the frame and zap strapping it so i got to the uh wire connection portion here and the the uh manual says to look for the third blue clip down and sort of the 2013 video, 2013 Tundra video. So this looks different than the 13. And the instruction manual, you might get confused like I did. So there's only two blue clips, not three. And it's actually the very bottom one you want to go to. You want to go to the very bottom one and look for the Toyota wire that is white with a silver dash and blue with a silver dash. So those are the ones that I use. So the so then, you know, it said go, the manual said go green to the white silver dash and blue to the blue silver dash. So that's what I did. And I got it to operate. But it was operating in reverse. So instead of redoing that wiring, it's easier to just go and uh, switch these two up. So I got green going to blue and blue going to green. These are the supplied cables one just good little tails off the actuator and then the other is just for the rough into the tailgate so little connectors there so that had to go opposite in my case to make it work uh, the other thing that I uh, encountered was that uh, when I went to lock it oh, let me shut that door when I went to lock the tailgate it was working as it is now so that's locked tailgate handle doesn't work and then it's open and so the tailgate handle should work but if you notice it's not quite at the very end of the little uh, uh, notch out slide that the little plastic nipple has to slide through and when you do pull on that it actually pulls it to the very end and then opens the tailgate so that's that's all fine it opens the tailgate but I found that when it was all the way to the end there the actuator pop and lock actuator had a hard time fully locking it it will now so there we go it's fully locked now until again those work but when I first did the first few operations it would get it would only bring it halfway so that this little thing on an angle was actually kind of more horizontal and then when you go and you think it's locked and you go to try to open it it would actually you know it would open because it wasn't fully pushed up to that lock position so what I ended up doing was just greasing the crap out of this whole assembly underneath the tab on top of the plastic. I actually I greased, you know, added grease to everything. I even added grease to the little actuator tab just above my finger there on the edge of it because it was binding with the uh, aluminum side there. And then I also did the same on this side of the actuator tab. So that was a little helpful hint to uh, get it to work properly. Now it seems to be working fine, and uh, see it's sliding easily. Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys to uh, help you save the time that I spent redoing and opening up this tailgate twice. Good luck.